Hi there guys, welcome back to the Mushroom Market. I hope you've all had a really lovely weekend and a big thank you to everyone who purchased in my last restock on Saturday night. Um, I hope you guys all really enjoy what you've purchased and I'm in the middle of um, packaging up those orders now. But I thought I would just make, take a little bit of a break and talk about books in this video. I do get a lot of questions about uh, where do you get your bird, the little birds that I use in my ephemera packs and things like that and I thought, yeah, I thought today I would make a video about my book collection and you can, you guys can have a look at the sorts of things where I get stuff from, um, the types of books that I use for my ephemera packs, um, the books that I use for my journals and perhaps stationery and things like that, that, all this kind of stuff I find from thrift stores. So. With that being said, um, I will first start off with my most commonly asked question, which is where do you get your birds from in my little, my little packs. So I thought I would show you um, just some of the books where I get my bird images from. Now all of these books are from thrift shops or they're from um, the Lifeline Book Fest. The Book Fest is something that we have here. I I think they do have it in Sydney as well um, but I go to the Brisbane Book Fest I get a lot of my books from there um, and also yeah thrift shops so these are the types of books that I look out for always whenever I'm in a thrift shop or or wherever sometimes in secondhand bookshops if they're reasonable enough they're usually a little bit more pricey in in those stores but um, and also sorry another place I have bought books from is a secondhand bookshop online. Um, it's one here in Australia. It's very, very good, uh, very reasonable prices. I will find that and I'll put the link down below for you guys here in Australia if you want to have a look at that um, online bookstore that I go to. So this is like one of the examples of the bird books that I look out for. I have many, many, many different bird books. Um, I probably couldn't show them all to you. I, I have at least a dozen. Um, and they're all they're all different. Um, I think there's a couple that are the same and they all have these beautiful illustrations in them. And for example, this one here, it's very, very thick. So if I was to find a, a book like this, I wouldn't hesitate in spending, you know, five or even ten dollars on it because of the quantity that I'm getting inside. And I know, you know, there's a lot of things that you can cut out here so for example this page alone has got six images in it um, and I just I go through and I pick my favorite birds some of them are not all you know these are bird heads but they go through different species and they're just beautiful I know some people might have trouble cutting up these kinds of images but I, I yeah, I, I, I totally get where they're coming from <laughs> because they are so beautiful and usually these are older books. These are from, well, I think this one is the 80s. Um, oh, what's that? The front there. So this one's 1979. It's actually a Reader's Digest book, I think. Um, so I, I understand that it can be really, really difficult. They are so beautiful, but at the same time, I kind of just, I love to enjoy them and I love to make beautiful things. So I sort of figure what's the purpose of it sitting on a shelf just looking pretty kind of thing um, and I, I just cut them up so I mean look at this it's just beautiful so this is this is one of the examples of the oh look at those um, one of the examples of the types of bird books that I'm after um, what else do we have we have this one here it is called Birds, Their Life, Their Ways, Their World. Actually, <laughs> I didn't notice this is exactly the same. It just has a different cover. So that's what I mean. I sometimes have multiples. They just have different covers. So I won't bother going through that one with you guys. Um, there's one here. This one is called the Look It Up Book of Birds. Um, this one's a great one. I've already torn into this one quite a bit. Um, Sometimes they, you notice that they've got different, um, I don't know what you would call it, but for example, the, some of the pages are glossy in some of the books and some aren't, um, but there's some beautiful, beautiful images in here. hope you guys can see that okay. So there you go. 
I've cut some out there. <laughs> some I don't really cut out and those I would say for perhaps a page in a journal or um, even I like to make envelopes out of book pages so yeah something like that or little pockets and things I could sort of frame that there as a pocket and have the little bird on the front it's a dodo so yeah there's another one that one is I think this one's from I mean this is an old high school book um, 1974 so there is that one there is this one here which I don't really use I have quite a few of these I think I've got about maybe about six um, I think these ones I actually got from an antiques bookstore but they were a pretty reasonable price because they came in a pack of four so I decided to get them um, these ones here I don't actually use to cut out I actually use this as covers on some of my journals so I would um, tear this out and sort of trim it and do some stitching around it that would be a really nice cover for a journal so each one of those is you know every single page has pictures of birds so there's another little book um, what else do we have we have this one here which is the world of birds this one it was a dollar um, this one here it's not every single page has an illustration it's a mixture sometimes you can get these books that you know they're a mixture of actual maybe actual photographs a lot of writing about birds a lot of diagrams and things like that see there's a there's a photo there but then you've got some illustrations in it so sort of books like this I wouldn't go spending a huge amount of money on because the quantity in there is not something I'm really gonna get a whole heap out of but it's, they're still beautiful beautiful books um, where is this one from uh, 1975 or this one's 1978 this copy so there are some illustrations in here but not every single page but you can use these other pages for other things so <laughs> look at his legs oh he's got a snake um so there's that one here is another one birds of australia um book of identification so yeah usually there are illustrate illustrations identification sort of books so 760 birds in color um these ones are a little bit different because not every single page is like individual birds. They'll have like full size, uh, are these called book plates? I'm not sure. So see like this, I would probably use this as a page in a journal or I'd make, this would make a great envelope or something like that or a pocket uh, because there's multiple small images on it. Uh, but then some have larger images that you can cut out and every single page in here has birds on it. And I think that I paid about $5 for this one, um, which is still, I think it's a, it's a really good deal, um, especially here in Australia. <laughs> so that's, that's another one there. Those are my bird books. Probably the last one I'll show you, a lot of this was uh, torn out already because I did make a lot of my bird journals out of this book. This one's quite old. It's absolutely stunning. I found this at a thrift shop. I think it was about $3.00. Um, but it's very very old I don't know if it has the actual date it just looks old um, yeah I can't see the date in it but these had really beautiful vintage images in it and I did use a lot of the images so there's not many left um, on book covers so they are really really beautiful old vintage um, pages so that's that one those are the types of bird books that I have in my house times about I don't know gosh I have probably about another 20 of different ones so I'll just pop those aside and then um, the other thing would be the other types of books I have they're not birds they're not florals you don't see this kind of thing in my packs often um, but I do collect these as well these this book is butterflies and moths so this one here is beautiful. I actually got this one from the online secondhand bookshop that I'll link below. It was about $10, but once again, it was completely full of um, beautiful images. 
of butterflies and moss and these are great if you want to cut them out and a lot of people do do that with happy mail and stuff and put together beautiful little ephemera packs that you can use for collage and yeah send a snail mail and that just makes up these beautiful gorgeous packs if you guys have seen any of the lovely stuff some people do over on Instagram and that kind of thing so this has you know every single page has got beautiful um, moths and butterflies and you can cut out a lot on one page so to me that's that's worth the money so that is another book about butterflies and this one here I grabbed at an op shop when I was overseas even when I'm traveling I'm always going to thrift shops because there is most likely better thrift shops overseas than what there are here um, I found this one in the Netherlands and these have got just beautiful beautiful images there I think there were two they were only about a euro each or something really really cheap so that's another beautiful book there uh, that's another bird book. So the next thing would be my flowers. Now in a lot of my packs I do use the floral stickers but I also like to cut out flowers. Generally I do find more bird books than I do flower books. I don't know why that is but I'll sort of go through some of the, the floral books I have here. So this one here actually I found at a thrift shop and I found this one at my local thrift shop the one I absolutely love to go to it has a free box out the front and you can just grab whatever this was in the free box this was completely free and you know looking at the front of it it doesn't look like it's going to have beautiful illustrations inside it looks like it's just going to be a general gardening sort of plant book um, but I did open it up obviously there's some mixed pieces in here but as you go through the book there are beautiful floral illustrations in here not there <laughs> obviously but further on down as you flip through there's a lot here so I mean this was free of course I'm going to grab it and give it a new home and yeah you know these are beautiful to put in my mixed packs and things like that so just I think you know bear in mind when you're going to these thrift shops and you're trying to look for this kind of stuff don't just look in the cover sometimes they do have beautiful illustrations and things on the inside always look inside the cover <laughs> it's like my motto so so yeah that's that's a lovely book here that I'm going to cut up I only got this one the other day so this is new but that's an example of one that I'm always looking out for um, another one here would be and just grab it sorry guys I've got all my books beside me here and sorry about the lighting it's very very overcast today there are storms all around sort of my suburb but they're not coming here they're just yeah they're just lingering around so this one here is called the illustrated book of wildflowers and I think I got this one at the book fest as well and it was it was only in the dollar section um, which was great you know but this is something I wouldn't really look inside but this does give it away a little bit and I've already been through this and cut out some pieces so yeah you can see <laughs> this has got just beautiful what is this about actually is this uh, oh yeah, sorry it is wildflowers. I was thinking it was herbs or something for one minute. Um, so yes, this is another one. Lots of lots of beautiful illustrations to cut out and the quantity of images in here is great. So that is that one. Pop that one aside. Uh, we do have this one here. I also grabbed this one at the book fest. Actually this is funny because when I was in this section it was in the dollar section there must have been at least a dozen at least I kept seeing these books everywhere and I just wanted to pick up every single one in the end I think I brought home oh six of them I think um, and in one of them I actually found a bunch of old um, letters and I think just notes about gardening and yeah it was really really great to I love getting books and opening it up and finding old stuff inside. So these here, not every single page has got 
you know, illustrations or anything in it, but they're great for other things. Um, but they do have some in there. That's why I did buy them. <laughs> Just struggling to find them. There they are. They're all sort of scattered throughout. But generally it's just a good book to grab, especially if it's only one dollar, you know. Oh, see? <laughs> Somebody has pressed a leaf in here. So it's funny the things that you find. So there's the illustrations and stuff in the book that made me want to grab, I think, six of them. So, so that is that one. I actually haven't cut into any of these books yet. So I still have lots... Um, lots to go through so I think this yeah it's a Reader's Digest book uh, I believe this is from the 70s as well oh 1966 so yeah a really good deal for a dollar and there is a lot in there even if it's not all illustrations I'll just pop that to the side so we also have books like this which are books about herbs and things like that um, these ones here, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them, but when I find them, I can't sort of pass them up. They're great, really, for pages and journals and things like that. That's what I'd probably do with them. Because the images are actually quite large to fit in my ephemera packs. So, oh, here's a lemon, lemon tree. So, yeah, these are great to go in journals and things as well. So there's that one. Um, another thing you'll probably hear me talking about quite often is my Wildflowers of the World book. I make pockets and envelopes out of this one purely because um, every single page, it's not really a page that I can individually cut out the images. Um, some of them, yes, some of them I can get some things out of, but mainly they're just sort of a huge, yeah, like this kind of thing. So all together so I do make my little pockets and I make envelopes out of this and this is really really big I have just I have been pulling this apart for quite some time now and there's still quite a lot here and I actually have two of these books um, when I went to the book fest I specifically hunted out another one of these books because I I just I love using it so much for those kinds of things I think there you can see that I have grabbed um, a floral so some of them you can sort of cut out here some of them not so much but they make great pockets and stuff so there's that one um, this is the other one that I did grab oh no this one's different I think it was that one's the wildflowers of the world I get confused even with my own books this one here is flowers of the world I do have a few of these ones as well they're a little bit different um, you can cut some of these out so there is that one this one's a bit of a newer version I do have the very first one I got which is this one here so they're exactly the same this one's just a lot bigger and you can cut out some of the images hope you guys can see that there but yeah generally the whole page is sort of just writing and stuff like that so I don't often go into this one, but it's still great to, to have. They're beautiful books to have anyway. This one's quite old, I think. It's older than the other one. So I think that is about all for my floral books. Let me just have a look and see what else. Um, here's another one that I did use in my latest uh, mixed ephemera pack. It's a herbal book, and it just has beautiful pictures here which I actually cut out to put in my mix packs and things so yeah there was a lot in here and I believe I got this one at an op shop it certainly wasn't $16 like it says here <laughs> I, I think perhaps this was another free one that I grabbed so there's that I also like to grab really old garden sort of books um, this one here I think I mean it's pretty old but I love the pages in these these are not um, illustrations these are more like photographs but there's something about the older style that I really really love I mean that is so vibrant I don't know if it's picking up properly on camera but that to me is beautiful and I'd love to make a pocket or you know envelopes and things out of that and 
these pages are really old and vintage so they're just lovely I can actually smell how vintage it is <laughs> So that's another one. Not everything that I buy is always illustrated. I do love to get these ones as well. Um, a couple other small things that I do pop in my journals. Uh, little little floral books like this. I love to include things like this. Um, sort of as just page decoration. I'll sew at the top and they'll flip up and things like that. And they've just got little wildflowers and things on them. Or you could make pockets out of these little books. They just got lovely little sort of falling apart because I've pulled it apart. But that is uh, the Observer's Book of Wildflowers. And this one is the Language of Flowers. I think I got this one at the book fest too. In the dollar section. Um, and this one's really, really great. 19, somebody's written on here, 1980. So these are great to put into journals and stuff as well. So there is an example of the sort of books that I have. Um, one of the other things I do like to grab are old sort of atlas books and things like that. I do make my little pockets out of, sometimes out of um, atlas pages and things. This one is a dual atlas of Britain and Europe. So it's yeah, it's just maps and things like that, and this is sort of what I use to make little pockets and things. It was very, very cheap. Um, I've got multiple. I mean, these are readily available anywhere. You can get a lot of maps, map books and things like that. So that's another thing I'll use. And I thought I would chat to you guys about, perhaps about stationery and things like that, that I look out for in sort of thrift shop so I think I'll pop off now and I will put these books away and I will come back with um, yeah just the stationery and stuff that I, I look for and I things that I put in my journal so I'll talk to you guys in a second all right so I'm back now and I've sort of gathered up um, the stationery that I have um, found at thrift shops or actually even at the book fest they do have a stationery table there and I go through that as well so I'll show you the sorts of things um, because you know you can find a lot of vintage stationery at thrift shops um, it's a little bit trickier here where I live um, but I'm always trying to keep my my eyes open for it so I'll show you the sorts of things that um, I'm sort of finding so here's an example of one. This is sort of old um, green grid paper. I found this at my seconds op shop. That's an op shop that they don't, they put things in that they don't deem good enough to go to the actual op shop. And it's one of my favorite places to go to because you find stuff like this. Um, I guess they think they're not gonna sell this kind of stuff, but yeah, people like me, it's just a treasure. So this here is really vintage. Um, green grid paper and I've never seen something like this so when I saw it I was I was really excited actually so and I hope you guys can't hear that it's actually storming here now so there's some thunder about so that is something that I found probably oh, about a month ago um, but I haven't made any journals so I haven't really used it so I mean I think she gave this to me for like 10 cents or something and this is great to put in journals, so that's one thing. Um, another thing is very similar, it's also grid paper, but this one is purple and sort of red. And yeah, generally we don't get the grid paper like this here now. It's usually just plain white with maybe blue lines, I think. So yeah, you can tell, I mean, just at the front of this, that it's an older style. Um, they I don't think they even put them in this plastic anymore. Or maybe they do. I don't know. So this is another one. These are great to use. This was actually sealed up. So, you know, they they don't have any marks or anything on them. They're just perfect to use in journals. And I like the variety that sort of this provides in between the pages. So that's another thing. So I've got stuff everywhere here, guys. <laughs> Um, these ones here I got from the book fest they were a little bit more expensive I don't know why in the book fest they charged I think $2.50 no matter what was on there so even if it was just a plain book which I thought was a bit silly but um, they, these are great this is an old vintage geometry exercise book and once again it's grid paper but it's old 
does have the blue lines but it's got some beautiful patina to it and yeah I always pick things up that I have never seen before because I like to have that variety but I haven't used any of this yet so I think they must have been selling it for 30 cents and they're at the book fest they jacked the price up to $2.50 so <laughs> that's a bit of a cheek but <laughs> you know so there is a couple of those there great to pop in your journals sort of pop that aside oh sorry guys my dog is coming for some attention um, some other things are ledger books um, I never really when I started looking for these in thrift shops and things I never really found them and yeah as time's gone on I have found a few so these are old ledger books that I love to pop in my journals as well so there's that one there's different kinds I grabbed a stack of these I found these in a thrift shop um, so these are old uh, ledgers as well I don't think they're old old but they're they're certainly not new they might be I think they'd probably be you know the 80s or something they've got beautiful patina on them there are those two I've got a variety of different um, ledgers and things this one I found at my seconds op shop so it says double ledger and it's the same once again and um, yeah I've got a bunch of other sort of ledger books I'm just sort of looking um, anyway so then another thing that I sort of look for I guess you'd call this stationery I'm not too sure this is well it just says it's a ruled book I'm not too sure what it's really used for business or something um, it's like carbon paper or something so it's got a perforated edge you can tear it out and then there's the orange one behind it which I guess yeah you get the copy of whatever's been written on here but I mean they're both fun to uh, to use and I think I grabbed a stack they were all tied together so there was like a lot together so that's another sort of stationary item that I will grab um, I also get some really fun sort of books <laughs> so there's like this pilot's log book it's not vintage uh, but I thought it's it's really unique and it's something you can tea stain to pop in your journals um, yeah see it's 2010 so but it's fun it's something different and I just uh, yeah I like to be able to have that variety of things so that's kind of a quirky thing you can pop in there um, also sort of on that front here is another sort of thing this is a labor laboratory notebook and it's from Griffith Uni here on the Gold Coast it was yeah it was in my seconds op shop as well and it's new it wasn't two dollars <laughs> But um, it's cool, you know, it's got experiments and things, so you could tea dye pages like this, and these are really, really fun. So there's another thing, I haven't actually uh, pulled any out of this yet. So those two, and we do also have this one here, which I found in Nop Shop. It's like a hotel register, so yeah, it's not too old, but it's really really fun it's kind of it's got does have some sort of patina to it but it would be great if you tea stained that and made it look a little bit older maybe and oh there's the thunder so that's that's another thing that's fun and these are a really good size too I think if you wanted to pull that out and well yeah it would it would fit in a really large journal just folded in half so so there is that one <laughs> Um, what else do we have? I'll just sort of go through some of the things. This one here, uh, a sign-on, sign-off attendance book. So it's really funny the things you can find. This is great. This is quite, it's got a lot of markings on it. And it's already sort of browned around the edges here. So I, it kind of looks like a school, yeah, like a school book when you sign your child maybe in and out of school when they're late um, <laughs> so that's really really fun I thought that was cool pop that one aside and I'm also what is this one 
analysis book so things like this this is like ledger as well but it's like a blue color so so yeah that's that's really fun that blue color I think I have quite a few of these that are sort of the same so oh this one here is an accounts book but it's got blue paper in it so yeah that's great for writing and that's actually really good quality paper it's really sturdy so it's really great for to put in journals for people to write in and there is a lot in this so yeah it's, it's just brilliant I really really like that one that down there what is this one we have here we have this carbon book uh, what is this <laughs> I can't remember oh it's just sort of lined paper so it's very vintage um, is that the right way? Yeah. and it's got a perforated edge it's lighter paper so I guess it's yeah carbon yeah and it's got these these fun numbers at the top so it's really really cool to pop in and there is an absolute stack in there so no shortage of, of pages to use in that one uh, what is this one as an accounts book I think this is exactly the same maybe slightly different it's got some numbers in it and yeah there's some patina around the edges there's that one there is this accounts book oh but it's lined paper so but once again that's really sturdy so that's really fun pop that aside sorry guys um there is this book here this is called an analysis book again um these ones i picked up from the book fest if you guys are here in queensland or yeah they do do book fests all over the state and in new south wales i know i'm not sure about any other states though but if you've got it in your state go to the book fest because it's it's brilliant and this is just lined paper but it's really large I don't know if you guys can tell but it is a really big book so I haven't used that yet and I do have a couple of these so that is it for books uh, I didn't grab all of the ones but that's just sort of what I've got here to show you um, along the lines of stationery the other things when I go into thrift shops I always make a beeline for the books and the stationery <laughs> that's where I go um, and then I also go to fabrics and things like that but yeah the, the stationery is mainly number one that I go to um, because I like to have that kind of variety in my journal so I'll show you the sorts of things that I'm looking for other things um, so I'm always looking out for cards and envelopes um, to pop in my journals this one here it was two dollars but it was a 50% off day so I grabbed this for a dollar um, and it's beautiful these are just full of cards and envelopes and these are just beautiful beautiful cards I mean you could use these to send send to people you know just stunning and every single one is different so to pop these in journals they're just beautiful they're, they're like new and they're great fun and they've got all the envelopes in the back so yeah cards and envelopes something I'm always always looking out for um, there is also sets like these that you can find quite often in your op shops this is a beautiful one it's got the Paris Eiffel Tower and things so really beautiful really fun to pop in your journals and these come with beautiful envelopes I think I'm more so looking out for envelopes than I am cards because in the stores nowadays I generally only find white envelopes nothing really like beautiful like this and if they are like this they're in a stationery shop and they're very expensive so when I go into thrift shops and I pick something like this up for a dollar it's great um, and these are just they're like new there are no marks on them they're just beautiful sorry I've got that upside down just beautiful lovely stamp there you could use this even as happy mail to send to somebody which I might do actually <laughs> so I'll pop that one aside um, what else do we have here there's ones like this I had actually seen this in my op shop and walked away from it and then when I went back a second time I thought I'll pick it up and have a look at it I didn't realize it was sort of um, a writing set so it's John Sands I don't know if you guys know that it's sort of a high quality brand of stationery 
um, but these are these are brilliant to go in your journals as well so yeah and then yeah that's the envelope and then you could fold up the piece of paper and pop it in there so that's that one um, what else what else I'm always finding things like these are really great these airmail envelopes they're really really fun to pop in I do have more somewhere I'm just not sure where they are and these are quite an old style I don't believe I see these anymore but I remember them when I was growing up probably in the 80s or something so yeah they're quite old I'm doing some of those and some other envelopes too um, sometimes they might look plain if you're in a thrift shop and you just see a bundle of envelopes sometimes they look plain you think uh oh, boring but sometimes you can open them up and they have these beautiful designs on the inside which they're just stunning so this pack was just by itself and I grabbed it so I have a few of those I have more over there um, some other things here's another one that I grabbed it is a folio of note cards and it's sort of the same it's these beautiful cards with these florals on them and they have the envelopes and stuff so there's a lot in there these are just beautiful sometimes I think I'm going to hoard these <laughs> I'm not going to use them but I will I'll use them we have those ones these ones here I found at my seconds op shop so it's what is this one actually yeah it's from Vision Australia but you open it up and it's got some beautiful writing paper and I think there's envelopes here yeah, beautiful envelopes here. So like that. And sometimes they have... Oh, where did those ones come from? I think these belong out of another set. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, yep, yeah, there's another writing set. I have a lot of writing sets now. Sometimes you can get ones like these that you open up. And they'll have this big piece of... I think that's paper. Yeah, this was all new when I found it at the op shop, so it was all sealed up. And then it has cards and envelopes in it. So those are brilliant. Um, I sort of don't want to go through everything. <laughs> um, there's another one here. These ones here, I found these at the Salvation Army, the Sally Army. And these, I'm not too sure what you call these, but they're like an envelope and you fold them out and you can write on them so these are brilliant as well so that's that here's some more cards and things these have got houses on them I just thought they were absolutely beautiful I believe that this is somewhere in the US so Ontario Canadian yeah so those ones I do have a lot more but I don't want to sort of bore you guys with cards and things like that um, I do have the usual sorts of things like books, like music books, um, I have old children's sort of books and things like that. The other thing I do look out for as well is old children's, oh, what would you call it? I'll bring them over, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Sort of like what children have in school when, yeah, sort of back, <laughs> back in the day. Um, so here's a book that's the spell of words and this is an old children's sort of oh is it a school book well it says level seven so i guess it is um yeah and it's beautifully patinaed and these kinds of things are great for, for journals and things so those kinds of things this one here is an introduction to the teaching of multiplication and division in the primary school <laughs> so, yeah, these kinds of school books. Um, this one here is the Australian Printing Copy Book. Picked a couple of these now, I think. So, lots of fun to pop in your journals, these ones. Color and Read. And yeah, that's beautifully patinaed. Great if you're making a children's journal and things like that. What else do we have here? Quota spelling program for year three. <laughs> so, actually, this paper is really, really smooth. It's beautiful, but yeah, it's great. I don't really remember doing any of this when I was in school, but 
it's, yeah, it's got a lot of fun pages in it to pop in your journals. Here's that one, and we have this one, Letters and Sounds, so just great activity books and that kind of thing. Yeah, so that is that. That's the kinds of things I am always looking for in op shops. You know, like I said, I do get music books, I get old children's story books, uh, I get old atlases, your florals and your birds and things like that. I also grab, actually I did find this one here, which was, it's a planner and I walked past it and then sort of came back and had a look at it. And it's, it's really, really unique actually. Um, I haven't seen anything like it before. So I guess what it is, is you sort of plan your garden with it. Um, and there is a house, I believe, somewhere in here. Here it is. So you can pop your, these are uh, sort of pop out. I don't know what you would call them. But they're perforated. So you can pop your, um, the florals out. And I've already done a lot out of this book. So I'll just sort of pull that. And it's got a tab on it that says what plant it is. It's really fun for um, gardeners and things. So yeah, you can see there's a lot in here that you can pop out. Um, it's really, really unique. There's a lot that I've already popped out and popped in my container. And then this had a little pot here. You could put this in like this and you could plan your garden. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of fun. That's that's another thing. Um, always look twice at your books. Because <laughs> you can find some really, really cool stuff. Um, then probably something like this is another thing, which I think is great to pop in journals. I actually also cut these out. So this is really old. This was a dollar at the book fest, and it's just all different stamps. And... Oh, I don't know if you can see, it's just, it's huge. That's how big it is. So 1970, this kind of thing is great. Um, and if you want to cut out the little stamps and stuff, so there is that. And speaking of stamps, I also look out for stamp books. I've got a couple of stamp books from the op shops that have been filled with stamps. Um, but this is just a book on stamps, so it's, yeah. Another great thing. So <laughs> with that, I think I will, I will stop talking now. I've talked for a long time about all these books now. So I hope uh, this video has been fun to watch. Um, and I hope it sort of helps you to look at things maybe in a different light when you guys, if you guys are in the thrift shops. A lot of you guys will probably know <laughs> all of this anyway. You're pros at it. So so yeah, but I hope you enjoyed looking at my collection and the kinds of things that I'm always on the hunt for. I'm always keeping my eyes open and, and shops and things like that for. So I hope you guys have a really lovely week and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.